This is the third grade Greetings, Introductions, and Feelings review unit. This unit, we won't be actually learning anything new, but reviewing um, what entailed two units in second grade. And that will be, of course, Greetings, Introductions, and Feelings. So for Greetings, um, we'll be learning simply how to greet someone in the morning, afternoon, and evening, and of course, hello and goodbye. Buenos dias. Buenos dias means good morning. Buenos dias. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes means good afternoon. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. Buenas noches can in a way mean two things. If you are greeting someone or saying hello for the first time and you say buenas noches, that could mean something like good evening, saying hello during the evening time. Or you can say buenas noches to take leave, as in saying good night, I'm going to bed now, or good night, it's time for me to leave. Buenas noches. Hola, of course we know means hello or hi. Hola. And adios means goodbye. Adios. Introductions. Um, we'll be using these introductions to tell someone what your name is to introduce a friend, to ask someone else what their name is, or ask what someone's friend's name is, and to ask how old somebody is or where they're from. So, me llamo, me llamo we use as my name is. Now, if we were to translate it directly, it would be I call myself blank, but in English, we don't quite talk like that, so for all intents and purposes, me llamo means my name is. Se llama, you would use for introducing a friend, means his or her name is. Again, directly translated, it would be he or she calls him or herself. But we don't really talk like that in English, so we use it when we're trying to say his or her name is. And then you use their name. Se llama. Como te llamas? Como te llamas? What's your name? Or literally, what do you call yourself? Como te llamas? Como se llama? What's his or her name? Como se llama? Again, literally, it means what does he or she call him or herself. But in English, we more likely are to say what's his or her name. Como se llama? ¿Cuántos años tienes? This is a question we ask when we want to know someone's age. ¿Cuántos años tienes? How old are you? Literally, it means how many years do you have, but that sounds a little strange in English, so we use it as saying, how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? Means, where are you from? ¿De dónde eres? Okay, and finally, feelings. Um, we use these when someone asks you, ¿Cómo estás? How are you? We can answer in a number of ways. Estoy feliz. Estoy feliz. I am happy. Estoy triste. Estoy triste. I am sad. Estoy enojado or estoy enojada means I am mad. If you are a male, you would say estoy enojado with an O at the end. 
And if you're female, you would say estoy enojada with an A at the end. Estoy enfermo if you're a male. Estoy enferma if you're a girl. I am sick. Estoy enfermo. Estoy enferma. Estoy cansado. Or tengo sueño. If you are male, you would say estoy cansado. If you're female, you'd say estoy cansada. Or both males and females can say tengo sueño, which I'll mean I am tired. Estoy asustado. Or estoy asustada, if you're male or female. Or tengo miedo. Both mean I am scared or I am frightened. Estoy asustado, if you're male. Estoy asustada, with an A at the end, if you're female. Or tengo miedo, for either. Tengo sed. I'm thirsty. Now, literally, this means I have thirst. But we don't really speak like that in English. So, really, for all intents and purposes, means I am thirsty. Tengo sed. Tengo hambre. I am hungry. Again, means I am. I have hunger. I have hunger. But for all intents and purposes, I am hungry. Tengo hambre. Hambre.